Folks, it's Saturday night. Welcome aboard Murder Hobo Inc. Campaign number two this week, the Calamity Campaign. Thank you very much for joining us. We certainly appreciate it. Tonight, you are in for a real treat. Judging from the aggregate age of these guys, you're in for a whole lot of role playing and a whole lot of fun. So, Can't you see uh, our cosplaying? Come that's on. right. Yeah, we're cosplaying uh, Team Yellow here and screw these other two guys. They're going to be I'm TPK'd. Cosplaying a middle-aged man. <laughs> that's what we're doing <laughs> folks follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want to shoot the shit with us join our discord channel if you want to buy cool shit like a phone case or a duvet cover hit our swag shop it's down there below most importantly if you want to join us on tuesday for the talk show or for the one shots on every other saturday m hobo inc twitter or gmail hit us up we will get you in the game and you will have almost as much fun as we are now tonight's game is a little bit special as most of you know if you've seen the advertisements this is session number one no session zero for us of the calamity campaign long story short we are bronze age-esque uh these guys have grown up in the peaceful village of Ba, a community that was built inside of a mountain. It's pockmarked with different caves, which equates to apartments for the various families. There are several hundred people that live in Ba, including these four individuals. They are not of the same race. Some of them have come from different parts of the globe. History is all verbal at this point, and there is no mage magic to be found. There is clerical magic that is available, and one of these individuals is a druid. Uh, essentially, there are three classifications for the city of Ba. You are either a farmer class, you are a miner class, as there are copper and tin deposits in the bottom of Ba, or you are a hunter class. These four individuals have selected the hunter class as their profession, and tomorrow is their rite of passage. They will go out on their first hunt to prove their worth, or they will have to choose another track. Uh, they sit on a rock outside the village of Ba, overlooking the lake. As the moon glistens across the shallow waves, they discuss tomorrow's adventure. But first, let's go ahead and introduce you to A, Pirate Dog Dice, because I'm going out of order already. <laughs> uh, dice that may or may not kill you. And of course, oddfishgames.com. If your game stinks, get some adventure sense like these guys are getting in the mail uh, and make the game smell a whole lot better. Also, uh, cooking with dice. Uh, if you have a culinary streak in you, Take a look at oddfishgames.com and check out their selection. They also make something called the Shine System. So if you want to learn how to write well or better, uh, check that out. Now, back to the game since I'm back on track. Gentlemen, you guys are all sitting outside of a flat rock overlooking the lake, pondering, pondering, lamenting your choice for tomorrow. Uh, let's go ahead and introduce you first, Dave. Dave, tell us a little bit about yourself, please. That's, that's you, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> ah, hey. Now I can hear. <laughs> Sound Dave's was completely gone. Old. We're all this is, this older is, now. This can be edited, been right? around here we'll, since forever. Oh. We'll edit this in post. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm Dave. Uh, Dave is a half-elf, and he hates that fact about himself. He's been teased about it through a lot of his childhood since he came to live in Ba. It's the uh, pointy ears and the silver eyes. Kids can be mean. Anyway, uh, Dave grew up primarily with his aunt and uncle here in Ba, and uh, his uncle Geb was, uh, is a farmer but was a hunter until he was injured, and so he's told me all the stories of his hunting days and as I was growing up, so that's led me on the path to be a hunter. Um, other than that, I hate my maternal grandfather. Fair enough. Uh, next up, Rakir. Hi, hi, hi. I'm 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 Rakir, and I'm very very happy to be here. I'm so happy I'm going to be a hunter. I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. So, um, when I was young, um, I was very young. Not a whole <laughs> lot of people liked me, and you know, um, I, I 
it wasn't really, I, I, I wasn't really that strong. I wasn't really that, that I wasn't really that smart. And I wasn't really that good at things, but I was, I was pretty, pretty light on my feet and, you know, pretty nimble. And, and um, I, it, one thing that I really, really was good at was doing what I was told. So, so, so what I, what I decided to do was to try to make, make, make everyone like me by, by doing things for them. And that didn't work well with a lot of people because they just pushed me around even more, but, but a lot of the tribal elders and especially Gizba liked me a lot because I just did everything around, around, you know, around the camp and around them. And stuff like that. So I've decided I'm going to be a hunter and I, I'm going to be very studious at what I do and everyone's going to like me. I don't like you already, Rick. Here, <laughs> <laughs> you're dying on the hunt tomorrow, uh, <sighs> folks. I, I I tend to laugh because each one of these individuals have given me their backstories, so it's kind of curious to see how much they're divulging initially. So that's that is why I'm laughing. Uh, you're you're in for a real treat on the role play. Uh, next up, Ingve, whose name I will crucify. All night, all camp too long. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, I am Ingve. As I sit here tonight and ponder my path, I was started upon this uh, from uh, omens from the gods. Uh, that happened as a young child. Uh, my mother is a gatherer. We were out, I was out with her as a child, roughly around the age of four just gathering herbs with her for, for our shaman and our healers. And um, well, I got separated from my mother. I noticed something out in the distance that just caught my interest and being a very precocious four-year-old, I, um, I kind of went to, to go see what it was. And uh, when I was there, it was a raven. Uh, of particular size, it was quite large. And uh, it spoke, it spoke to me. So as best as a four-year-old did, I, I had this conversation with the raven. And um, by the time he and I finished our conversation, uh, he suggested that, you know, it's time for me to go home. So he sent some of his flock to guide me home. <laughs> Three days later, I, was, I had no concept that time had passed. My family, the, the town, they had been searching for me. My mother was hysterical. Uh, they had all but just assumed the worst because we were in the, the darkest parts of the forest at the time. But three days later, I followed the ravens home and emerged mm -hmm. from the woods. Mother and father were elated to see me and um, they, they took me home and then they asked for an explanation. And I told them as best as a four-year-old could. Uh, and they were overwhelmed with happiness that I was back, but it raised a lot of questions, especially my family's kind of the superstitious type. So talking about spirits in the forest uh, we're also very spiritual. We look for signs from the gods. They kind of interpret this as something that uh, the gods had, had interceded and uh, had chosen me for some reason. But it wasn't just my parents. It was the village also. They believed that as well. Um, so a few days of questions came. They asked about my conversations with the raven, and I told them. They said that the harvest would be good. Um, they also told me that the winter would be hard and that some of the villagers that I know uh, would not make it. And they told me who they were. So I told the villagers, uh, elders, as best <laughs> as I could of what was to come. And they took it with a little trepidation but as time passed, the harvest came. So did the winter. Everything that I had told them had happened. They took this as a sign 
and they put me in touch with our village seers, our elders, and that's pretty much what started my path. My path. Uh, as I grew, uh, more and more conversations with these ravens would happen. Of course, I would convey this back to the elders, and I was I was just always met with a little trepidation, a little fear, a little wonder. My father was a hunter. He was one of the hunters that searched for me. Um, so now that I'm not up of age, uh, I've decided to aid the hunters and kind of take my place among them uh, to go from this. So anyway, that's me. That's Ingve. This is it, folks. It's going to be fucking immersive. So get ready. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, last but certainly not least, Azari. Azari is Leonin, standing tall and proud amongst this group. He's excited for the chance to prove who he is and what he should be. He stands apart from much of his, from his family as he is darkened of fur, almost a black with bright golden eyes. He carries a bow and his swords of his family as they transplanted here, not but 10 years ago, coming from the lands far to the west, just past the deserts. He has a twin sister, a mother, a father, and an older sister who's gone on her hunts and done her most. So he has a, he has quite the quite the chip on his shoulder because he has to live up to the standards of his family. Though no other Leonin live here, he tries to live to some of the smaller traditions, being strong of heart, well of character, and, but mostly a true hunter. Folks, these guys are gonna cause me headaches. Uh, wow. One thing I forgot to <laughs> ask uh, Azari, as a Leonin, uh, you are bipedal? Yes, yeah. And how tall are you? Uh, six, eight. <laughs> I mean, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> there will be pitfalls. Oh, That's I know. Frank. <laughs> I, I've, I've been through many a pitfall with Frank. <laughs> oh, it wasn't that bad. Uh, no. Okay, as you guys... Uh, soak in the last moments of your old life and your preparation for your new life. Uh, it's starting to get late. Uh, you guys chit chat about what you think it's going to be. Uh, there's really no clear cut manual on how this is going to go. Each of you know uh, that there's going to be a ceremony tomorrow with Gizba, the leader of Ba. He is uh, the ancient warrior, uh, the oldest of the clan, the leader of the tribe. He will say a few kind so of words. Smart. He's, He's just so smart. smart. You are such a suck up. <laughs> <laughs> He'll probably say a few words and then you will go off with some of the older experienced hunters, you assume, uh, and go into the grasslands to the north. Uh, there is no map for these guys at this time. You guys have been confined. Uh, Azari and Dave, you guys come from opposite sides. Uh, Rakir, you also uh, are a quasi-transplant. So some of you know some items. They, they don't know them yet. I haven't given them to, uh, to the players themselves. But for the most part, Ba is what you know. Lake Ba, I mean, you're in Florida, essentially. Uh, you guys are retired. Uh, it's a beautiful life. Everybody has well protected you. The community of Ba has been a, very safe. Zero foreshadowing there. Uh, and it's, I mean, you've lived an idyllic life outside of your backstories. Um, except Azari with a chip on his shoulder uh, and a hot twin sister. So, you know, you got that <laughs> going for you. Uh, you guys go ahead and pack it in for the night. Uh, you guys are close enough friends uh, that you'll probably be sticking together during the ceremony. Uh, you are not the only initiates, so uh, 
Do you have some ideas on who, not really your competitors, uh, but the other participants? Uh, it, it is not the Olympics. There is no one single victor. You are out to just prove your self-worth. Uh, if that means cooperation, so be it. Uh, if it means individual glory, so be it. Uh, but your first trial is staying alive. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. Yeah, uh, One can tell by the way I walk. That's I'm right. Wins, man. <laughs> no time to talk. <laughs> as, uh, as you guys go to bed, everybody give me con checks. Let's see how well you sleep. Seventeen. Fuck me. Uh, t- Twelve. Nineteen. I mean, yeah. One more time, Rick here. You muted. <laughs> That's good. That's a good number. The quiet numbers. I think you got a zero. <laughs> uh, Rock, Rock here. Uh, you are going to do perception checks tomorrow at minus one. Uh, everybody else kind of slept well. Who had the nineteen? Jesus, they had to wake you up for this ceremony. (laughs) You're really tired. Uh, The next morning, the sun is cloaked by clouds as morning dawns anew. Your sleep uh, was as your roles dictated, as your excitement is at a fever pitch. You barely get your morning breakfast down because breakfast is the most important meal of the day, kids. A horn sounds outside, signaling... The meeting of your clans uh, is going to take place. You quickly gather your gear and rush down the narrow paths carved into the Rocky Mountain. The entire clan slowly plods down to the plateau of Ba, where there is a statue of bones. Uh, This honors the deity Elon. Uh, Several shamans show disdain at the object, as there are two religions in Ba. These shamans uh, prefer, uh, I wrote that wrong. Uh, the shamans are writing sigils on a flat piece of slate uh, next to the plateau, indicating their love for the deity Ebem. Uh, you spy your friends uh, who are seeking you and the four of you meet in the middle. Uh, as you wait for Gizba to arrive, Everybody roll perception checks for me, please. Oh. Ten. Modified Um, 17. Dave and Azari? Um, I I got a four. I'm very busy checking my gear and making sure everything is really tight. (laughs) Making sure my straps are tightened down, everything's fit. Making sure my axe is ready to come out at a moment's notice. You said axe, right? Yes. Yes, axe, not axe, ass. not ass. ass. <laughs> as, as, my ass Azari, is half out all the time. <laughs> Twenty six. Twenty six. Azari, give me a D four roll, please. Two. Uh, you see, Tech Tech. Uh, Uh, Folks at home, uh, these guys have been given a list of NPCs who they may or may not run into today. Each of the individuals has a perception of these NPCs. Not all of their perceptions agree with each other. So Azari, you see Tech Tech, uh, 17. Rakir, give me a D4, please. Three. Uh, you see Doff, uh, one of the twin half orc brothers. Um, stupid ones, <laughs> and they're both stupid. <laughs> stupid, who said stupid? What, uh, do you two wish to point out uh, who you spy in the crowd to your friends or no? Uh, here comes Tech Tech. Yeah, I see Doff over there, <laughs> walk so dumb. Dolph is a fool. He couldn't follow his uh, way out of a bog with someone holding his hand. You're right, is there? And children also. Uh, David. He follow anything. 
Dave and Ingve, uh, you uh, see these two individuals that you uh, have been pointed out. Uh, do you have anything to say about them or no? No, uh, not really. They're they're. Yeah, I'm used to seeing them. I'm used to little quirks. Doff is mean to small children. That is true. That's very true. <laughs> <clears throat> Like, holy shit, are you guys making stuff up already? <laughs> uh, uh, tech Tech, I, you sent the email hours ago, Frank. Okay, okay. But I Tech am, Tech I is very kind my kits, to many my of the animals. Kits. I was working on taxes. That's how I prepped for tonight's adventure, boys and girls. <laughs> working on taxes. Because, you know, that's what good DMs do. Uh, it's not board. April yet. Uh, I got a lot of shit I gotta do. <laughs> Runs a stream, man. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. This stream is a huge money maker, and I'm gonna have to pay taxes on it. Jesus All those Christ. triple digit views. That's right. Uh, another horn blast sounds, and a figure draped in a feathered cloak emerges from the center of the mountain. You all know it's the home of Gizba, and you all recognize the Gizba. individual as Gizba, hunter of legend and highly respected. He walks with the aid of a black staff tipped with a strange illuminated gem that glows. Uh, the crowd mm, mm, showing reverence to the leader of the community. Gizba raises his hands and everyone goes silent. In spite of his advanced years, the village elder stands straight and begins to speak in a powerful and captivating tone, which I'm certain that I won't be able to duplicate. Uh, he will wave to the elite fighting members of the tribe, the hunter class. Uh, you recognize these individuals because they are outfitted with cool shit. Some of them are adorned in long, colorful blue feathers indicating substantial kills. These are the people you want to be just like. Uh, after waving to them, uh, he will give them the thanks to the hunters who will be taking the initiates out for the rite of passage. So you're already starting to figure out they aren't just gonna throw you to the wolves-ish. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not today. Uh, finally, Gizba asks for the initiates to step forward and receive his blessing. Do you do so? Oh, heck yeah. Yes. All four I, of I, you. I run. I run. <laughs> he runs. <laughs> all four of you move quickly as the crowd parts. You also know that Sibo, a female uh, from a minor background, the aforementioned Tech Tech and Doff are also moving forward, as is Doff's uh, twin but smaller brother, Ek. Uh, it appears as though eight of you have been selected for the rite of passage and will go. Uh, you are guided to the front of the plateau as the tribe hums in unison because why not? <laughs> That's what they do. <laughs> yeah. uh, once at the head of the tribe, uh, you can look around and see this legendary warrior. Gizba has uh, many deep uh, lines and crevices in his face. Uh, he's clearly of an advanced age for a human, uh, but his frame is very strong and very powerful, clearly a swimmer got huge shoulders uh, and uh, his knuckles have many scars on them. Uh, clearly this guy has seen some shit. Uh, he will give, he, has. He, <laughs> he will give words of encouragement that stir the tribe into a frenzy. Again, I cannot match that uh, without the aid of song. And anybody who's seen this show knows that I should never ever sing. No purple uh, rain. It, just, it could be purple rain. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll explain that joke post. -game. Everybody gets their lighters out. Uh, that's right. Uh, <laughs> torches, torches. Yeah, he, uh, he looks at you eight. Torches, right? And and motions for you to all come close. Uh, he is up on somewhat of a day as it's actually more of a rock outcropping. And he leans down with the aid of his staff and he whispers personal advice to each of you uh, that can hear. Everybody give me perception checks to make sure you aren't deaf as a post. I'm looking at you, Dave. 
<coughs> 26. I had to remember to add one. Again. <clears throat> 15. 15. 15. Everybody. Okay, my scenario is just going to keep scrolling. Uh, <laughs> everybody <laughs> hears what moving. he has to say. Ladies and gentlemen, be diligent, be observant, be the best person that you can be, and you will do fine. This is just a simple rite of pas passage. Each one of you has been selected because I have the faith that each one of you can succeed and become like the elite hunters. Do your best and no one will judge you for anything less. Do you have any questions for me before we finish the ceremony? I pipe up, but then I just kind of settle back down to a quiet reserve. I always have questions for Gispa. <laughs> Uh, Rakir, I'm like you. Oh, so so I I'm I'm in stunned odd silence. I can't really say anything. Cool, uh, because Doff pushes you out of the way, Rakir, and addresses Gizba in a rather questionable tone. Lord Gizba, will this be an all-day journey? Because <laughs> <laughs> he has plans. lazy little. Apparently, it's got a date. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, Gizbot looks at the half orc and smiles, just cracks a little bit of a smile, and he says, That depends on you, Dolph. <laughs> that wouldn't uh, count on it. Yeah. We finish when we finish, Dolph. Uh, give me a persuasion, Azari. No, oh, because that's my. Highlight skill here. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, Thanks, so much. Thanks for stuff. piping up. <laughs> That's not bad. Uh, 15. Not bad. He scowls at you and gives you a little sneer, but he complies and he takes a step back. I give him a minor growl back. <clears throat> Crosses his arms and looks a little bit distressed. Uh, you will all know that this guy has been in many, many fights and he has a troubled past as is clear. Uh, you also know that um, of the two, he's pretty strong. Uh, so in a fight, uh, might not be a bad idea to keep close to this guy. Um, <laughs> he, uh, let's see. Uh, I want to punch him in his face now. <laughs> I just want to just want to he dies for it. Yeah. Well, you know what? Give me a wisdom check first. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not going to. I oh, not to. Not the okay. Internally, <laughs> internally, I want to rip his face off, but externally, I'm just going to give him a... Uh, Azari's cat-like. Just somebody use a laser pointer and distract him. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a Yarn. piece of string. Is my freaking mic <laughs> muted? No, no, we can hear you. Here you go. Okay. Yeah, you've got, a, you've got a piece of yarn, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we can hear you. Uh, Gizba stands up, uh, since no one could hear the questionable comment uh, from the half-orc. Uh, he stands up and announces, let us praise these individuals. Lokai, you shall lead them. Uh, everybody, Lokai. Everybody give me an arcana check. Well, that's intelligence-based, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> 16 for Ingve. First Seven, nat one. Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, Rakir and Azari. Nine. Seven. Uh, okay. What, 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 what was yours, Ingve? 16. Uh, she is prettier than you thought, uh, being this close. None of you have really had much experience with her. She is considered largely... Uh, the badass of Ba. Uh, she has She's like a scars. goddess on earth. She's uh, uh, since, since all of you rolled low except for uh, Ingve, Ingve, uh, you are getting the vibe that she's thrilled with this group. <laughs> no, she is not. <laughs> uh, what, what race is Lokai? Uh, Lokai is a 
human female. She's that very tall, and she is smoking hot. That's what she is. She is she is adorned in multiple blue feathers, uh, a symbol of uh, martial combat. Uh, so she's be one of those. Because, <laughs> Rakira, she wouldn't let you touch her feather. She is I, I hope you guys are loud enough that she can hear it. Because <laughs> under, really under my so breath, hard. I'm like under my breath. I'm like, though she's skilled, she is disrespectful. Uh, as she she kind of leans in to accept the duty, says, "Initiates, come with me." Uh, Doff starts to cut her off, and she grabs him by the earlobe and gives him a big tug. Uh, despite <laughs> Doff's size and strength, he crumbles uh, and winces in pain. <laughs> she says nothing to him, moves forward, followed by her lieutenant. Uh, the rest of the warriors wait for you eight to go ahead and step in. Doff's rubbing his ear, and you can tell it's already bruising. So <laughs> she's got some major hand strength. Uh, <laughs> as you guys weave your way through the crowd towards the outer gate, uh, the crowd throws small white flowers on you. They are fragrant and uh, they are, they are fragrant and none, of, and none of you are allergic to them. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, I will take charisma checks from all four, please. Ah, oh. oh. not my strong suit. Six. Dave, 20, Dave. twenty-one. Dave, e eleven. Eleven. Uh, a young lady named Felicia, who is exceptionally attractive, and all of you have noticed for many years tad older oh, than you, uh, she notices Azari and throws him multiple flowers, getting caught in his luscious mane of, uh, uh, oh God, <laughs> who is 43 for the Steelers? Oh, oh, uh, uh, Troy Palomalu. Uh, Troy Palomalu. Troy Palomalu. Yeah, Palomalu. You're a Steelers <laughs> fan. You should know that. That's right. Yeah, brain fade. Uh, so uh, <laughs> I'm guessing Azari, she's human as well. You know what? D12 against me. I can okay. do that. She might be like Tabaxi or something. I don't know. And Nine. Uh, she's half Elvin. I kind of brushed them out of my mane a little bit. Um, okay. But I'm still respectful as I, I'll give her a slight nod as I walk by. What a guy. What a guy. <laughs> After moving through the assembled crowd, uh, you were joined by the other elite hunters uh, following you out. They are, there are men and women. It is a mixture. There is no misogyny here in Ba. Uh, the elite feathered warriors uh, total six uh, with their leaders. So there are five experienced fighters. Uh, you have Lokai, her lieutenant, and three behind you. Uh, then there's you guys. Good luck. Uh, the group winds around the rear of Ba, the big mountain, and heads off into a meadow filled with high grasses and scrub trees. Uh, in your infancy or your adolescence, uh, you were not allowed outside the gates of Ba. Uh, the elite <clears throat> warriors and the other members of the hunter class uh, would make sure that the safety and security of Ba was predominant. Uh, so this is your first real time getting out into this area. You've seen it, uh, every day of your life, but you've never actually been able to venture forth and see it. So if you picture Little House on the Prairie, uh, you guys are the twins that keep falling on the rocks. <laughs> the trek to the hunting grounds will take approximately an hour and consist of many of the adult in the tribe uh, muttering amongst themselves. I will take perception checks from all of you, please. Dirty 20. Uh, 18 for Ingve. I take it they're placing bets. 18 for Azari. Azari, Ingve, and Dave. 
They're placing bets. <laughs> uh, How are we fearing? Uh, they're yeah. betting who's who does well and who does not. Uh, Rock here. It's a beautiful day. These flowers are very pretty. Uh, <laughs> a, as is Lokai. She's just smoking. Uh, just stunning. All, all stunning four of you notice that uh, she also doesn't seem to give a rat's ass about going out into this meadow. Uh, certainly not her first trip. Uh, she's been here many times before. Clearly, she does not sense any danger whatsoever. Yes, Dave. I'm going to uh, attempt to adapt the most relaxed attitude I can, keeping a good lookout. But I'm going to switch up my gear and make sure I pull my spear out and put my spear in hand and use it as my primary right now as I'm walking. Sure, that'll work. We're hunting. Uh, I will roll a d4 to see who gets a visitor. Three, uh, Ingve. One individual from the troop uh, picks up the pace a little bit, and his name is Grek. All four of you know him. Uh, this individual's been on the hunt uh, twice now. This is his second year. Uh, each of you have a varying opinion of him, and you can see that he goes up to Ingve and breaks into discussion. Uh, he's like, uh, you got Oh, hi, Grek. Ingve, you got a handle on this? I think so, as best as the gods direct me. Well, you know, we, we, I, I'm rooting for you. I mean, you know, a lot of people, you know, wonder if you're all there, you know, with the bird thing. Oh, um, but I want to, I, I want to make sure if you need anything, you know, I've done this. You know, I've been here. You'll do fine. Just keep an eye out. And, and do what Lokai says. So. Is this like his second hunt, as in he didn't do well on the first hunt? Or is he this survived. his second? <laughs> <laughs> he survived, so I guess he yeah. did well. Yeah, this is his second one. So, okay. Yeah. Last year he was a freshman. This year he's a sophomore. So he knows it all. He's, he's got it all. Uh, he points out to you, Ingve, and anybody who's close enough to listen or eavesdrop, uh, certainly not Dolph and Eck, as they seem to be getting off the beaten track. So uh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the, you guys are going to be hunting chattel, which are the equivalent to American bison. Ah. Uh, you guys have heard of these creatures. Uh, you are, you've grown up on stories saying that the ground shakes when they run. Uh, they're essentially large bulls. Uh, but trampoline will certainly. They ended my uncle's hunting career. There you go. He got he got a uh, horn in the knee, I believe. <laughs> also, his ability. It wasn't his knee. He also lost his ability to have children. <laughs> now he's a hunter clown. <laughs> <laughs> it's worse than that. He's a farmer. Oh, he's a man. He's, a, he's a eunuch. He's a eunuch farmer. How do you grow those? <laughs> uh, He's always having a bad. <laughs> uh, he, he will point out that they're extremely dangerous when spooked. So if you spot them just grazing in the pasture, that is the time to strike. Uh, if they are spooked, he said, I, I saw a buddy of mine get run down and, 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 it was ugly. He didn't make it. Uh, let's see. Once finished with his recitation. Oh, I'm sorry. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> he says, uh, there are many other creatures that live in the meadow, but the target for today is going to be chattel. And Lokai will tell you that. He just wants to give you the heads up. Uh, he says, we're about an hour away, so everything should be good. Let's fi- <laughs> what? <laughs> Greg, what other creatures are in the meadow? Are they uh, hostile towards us, or should we? Are they more receptive, or do they take leave? Uh, there are several animals. Doesn't want to get caught talking to the rooks. Uh, there are several animals that graze. Uh, they are dog sized creatures, uh, and they are harmless. Uh, there are snakes. Uh, there are large uh, ikai, which are elk, um, with massive horns, huge chunks of horns. Uh, 
and, and they can be dangerous as well. Uh, but we will not find any ah, crap. Uh, there's a specific name. <laughs> and I just caught the uh, private <laughs> message. <laughs> uh, the Archai. Uh, the Blue Feathers are Archai. Uh, hmm. He goes, they, they're, they're towards the south. They're, they're bird-like creatures. They're like uh, feral turkeys uh, with sharp, sharp beaks and fangs and claws that will rip you apart. Um, but it, we, we shouldn't see any of those. Uh, if you can kill one of those uh, and take the feathers, you you whoop, you will be the shit. So, uh, but today just chow. Yeah, but just uh, keep an eye out because uh, what we'll do is. We'll go through these high grasses uh, and then we'll come to a kind of a dip, kind of a valley. And uh, that is usually where the chattel graze uh, and their loci will go ahead and spread us out and we will attack in mass. So have your weapons ready when she says to, keep an eye out uh, and just good luck because we will all be separated uh, 10 to 15 feet and the deeper we go into the high grass, the less we'll see each other. So just. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Greg. <laughs> uh, Greg kind of drops back. Uh, Tech Tech and Sibo uh, were also close enough to hear this. And you can tell that they took interest in it. Again, Doff and Eck are pushing each other. They're being complete dipshits. Uh, and you can tell these are going to be probably the first casualties of the night. So, uh, any questions before Greg leaves? Uh, none that I can think of. He was pretty thorough. <laughs> nice to nice to give us a little insight, Greg. He tries. You know, not everybody's a dick. You know, I don't know why everybody accuses my NPCs of being a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea why. <laughs> I, I'm a helper. I'm a neutral <laughs> helper here. Uh, <laughs> I like my players. I like them when they roll ones. Uh, notice starts to come uh, in the form of whistles. Uh, Loki is stopped just ahead of you. And she is counting everybody off. Uh, I am going to say Sibo is next to two rock here and tech tech is next to rock here on the other side. So Sibo is in between Dave and rock here. Tech tech is in between rock here and Ingve. Uh, each of you are directed to go about 10 to 15 feet off. There's very tall grass here that uh, Azari can just barely see over. Uh, fortunately, he's got his bike flags on his helmet or on his <laughs> mane so that he'll be <laughs> spotted first and killed. Uh, I, okay. I will okay. crouch low into the. I will crouch a little lower into it and start stealthing through just to fuck with people. <laughs> oh yeah. Lo Lokai calls out to you. We are looking for chattel today. We are moving forward. Do not stray from the path. Keep an eye out. Yes, Dave. Just getting ready. <laughs> He's got the big 20. Yeah. Everybody give me a wisdom check. Hot damn. <laughs> Just when he thought I was a good roll. Yeah. <laughs> 21. 16. 22. I got a nat one. <laughs> ah, that I got the nat twenty, so there you go. <laughs> which, which with my plus three makes it a four, but it's still a nat one. That's a nat <laughs> one. Uh, each of you uh, determines what the approximate speed of an African swallow is going to be <laughs> as you go into the high grass. Uh, Azari, clearly, you are being cautious because. You're crunching down a little bit. Uh, Dave, he's got this. Uh, 
<laughs> he moves in. Uh, rustling can be heard on either side of everybody. Uh, Azari, uh, you drew the short straw. Doff is on your right side. <laughs> oh, I knew it was coming. I knew it. I knew it. I could taste the bitterness in my mouth. Hey, it's your opportunity. That's right. <laughs> you know, you want to club him. Here it is. See? I'll just top. push him into the on, uh, uh, trampoline t-shirt. group. <laughs> <laughs> you, you use him as a shield. Uh, good news is, you know what? Let's see how Doff does. Doff is freaking running. <laughs> you can hear him. Uh, but only for a short time because Azari is. Step. Uh, <laughs> as you get in. Uh, uh, we're going to go stealth. <laughs> uh, you can do stealth. I need stealth rolls from Rakir and Azari, though. Uh, 19. Heard seven. (laughs) Uh, I also have a 19. Okay. Azari, as you move in, you hear a rattling noise. Rakir, as you move in, you see what is causing the rattling noise in the form of a diamond back. Rakir, Azari... Do you wish to call out for help? And also give me your initiative roll. <clears throat> That's not bad for me. Nice. It's a dirty 20 for me. 18. My 17 loses. Uh, Rock here. There's a diamond back hiding in the grass, and it looks kind of, shall we say, pissed. You know that I'll, uh, somewhere I'll take is out a tech. Dark dark and um, I'm pretty good. Yeah, um, I'm going to take out a dart and uh, um, I'm I'm going to try to throw a dart at the head of the Diamondback. Go ahead. That's a twelve. Uh, that misses. Good news is you made it mad. Uh, Azari okay. with your They're, 18. They are kind of small. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to try and like, I don't know if this would be more animal handling or a like straight up athletics grapple. I'm going to try and like snatch it by the head and pick it up. Just like hold it by the head. Like just pretty much hold, like grab it by the head and hold it. So it's not going to be able to bite. And then maybe. Throw it ch- off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, odd, uh, odd, I'll go acrobatics, even I'll go animal hand. Okay. 17, odd, acrobatics. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now remember, it, and I'll tell you this in advance, if you still want to do it, if you fail, I'm going to attack at advantage. Okay, sure. Since yeah, you're no offering problem. your hand. Okay. Man, my animal handling is so much better, too. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, 16. You grab it. Okay, I'm gonna snatch it by the head and then I'll do a quick look, whichever direction, like nobody's, or Doc went <laughs> running, so I'm not gonna be able to get to him, but wherever anybody isn't, and I'm gonna just chuck it in that direction. Give me a wisdom check. Okay. <laughs> Cause that went well last time. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, five. <laughs> Probably somewhere to your left is safe. <laughs> Did I mention uh, I'm prodding? <laughs> yeah, I just, I'll, I'll just, <clears throat> hopefully it doesn't fall me away, but oh well. I'll just chuck it away. Give me an attack roll. <laughs> A dexterity is your modifier. Dexterity? Okay. Uh, 20. <laughs> nice. Thanks. <laughs> uh, I mean, oh, that's an interesting role. Uh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Rack here. I'm going to attack you. All right. Eight. <laughs> I lash out at you with 20 fangs. Uh, and I don't even remotely come close to you, uh, probably because your dart took me off advantage. Uh, 
Ingve, how about you give me a perception check? (laughs) (laughs) Eight. (laughs) Focused. (laughs) Something is moving around in front of you. Okay. Uh, I do I hear anything other than the rustling? Do I hear anything animal musical? <laughs> Not at fifteen feet. Okay. Okay. I I proceed, but I, I've I was already cautious. <laughs> sure. No, that's fine. Give me a survival check. Gotcha. Um, 13. Interesting. Uh, Rakir, you're up. So I have this snake in front of me that tried to smash at me, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I threw it at you first and then it attacked you. Two of them. (laughs) Oh, there's two. There's two? Oh. I should have looked. Because Rakir is number two and then he's got uh, Tech Tech. And then he's got oh, Ingve. <laughs> and then Ingve had uh, nobody. And then you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So you, instead of throwing it towards Doff the asshole, threw it to the left because your wisdom rolls are awesome. Uh, so Rakir, Mono Osnako, uh, all you, baby. Yeah, so I'll uh, I, I have my I have my quarter staff and this is now it's closer. I'll try to you know, smash it with my quarter staff. Sure. <clears throat> that is better. That is a twenty-three. Yes. And that'll be one uh, D six. That's six hit points of damage. Uh, that is just not going to make it any happier. Uh, it will attack <laughs> with a four. Uh, apparently, it is stunned. Uh, Ingve, something is coming through the high grasses. Okay. A I... moment later, uh, it's Tech Tech. Tech Tech. Did I go the wrong way? I think so. Odd Spread even. out. <laughs> Odd. Uh, as Tech Tech asks you, did I go the wrong way? <laughs> a snake comes flying through the air <laughs> and attacks Tech Tech. Uh, this time with a 19. Oh, Tech Tech. <laughs> oh, Tech Tech. I'm so, sorry, tech, tech. I'm so sorry, buddy. Tech Tech has to make a constitution save. Tech Tech's going to die. Tech Tech does make the constitution, oh, but he's still going to suffer half damage from the okay. toxin. So <clears throat> you, of course, witnessed this, uh, Ingve, uh, because you did nothing to help. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, and another D4 plus holy, a four, a four, and a three. To uh, who? Tech Tech, uh, two plus four is six. Who Tech Tech goes down with seventeen hit points? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just a wee hunt. They said it'll be fun. They said <laughs> Tech Tech just got sneak attacked uh, uh, by a yeah <laughs> by a fucking diamondback. Oh fucking my flying snakes, man. Uh, <laughs> Ingve, I, I, I intercede, I, casting Shillelagh with a bonus action, just as a precautionary. I point to the snake as just like, "You've done your damage for today, little one. Just go. Nothing will befall you. Just leave." Using beach speech and animal handling. Sure. No, I'm trying, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna take care of Tech Tech. Give me okay. a give me a persuasion with your animal handling bonus. Okay. So just an animal handling bonus. That's okay. good. Okay. Uh, sixteen. Okay. Uh, the snake appears to be more frightened of its 
flight <laughs> and its potential landing inside the soft tissue of tech. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I can hardly wait till you tell everybody. Yeah, then I get this snake and I just fucking threw it. <laughs> uh, Miro. <laughs> uh, so uh, the snake disappears into the grass in front of you. Uh, okay. uh, what do you want to do with Tech Tech? Who I is am turning green and bloating from uh, I, bite mark. I jump into my uh, my <laughs> satchel, pull out healing kits, and start tourniquets and stuff like that, and start treating them. Not right around, around the his neck. neck. Right Not around, around the neck. neck. <laughs> I clarified, Frank. <laughs> treating. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going uh, to castrate Tech Tech. <laughs> no, I use what, what the villagers say. You know, pressure pressure bandage are you gonna suck the poison out no <laughs> so make an incision pressure bandage just to <laughs> there we go anybody see the heat <laughs> exactly <laughs> so oh that fun. goes well <laughs> yarp uh, rock here back to you uh snakes pissed uh roll a d12 against me uh, d20 get it, get it, get d12 it. Now you're saying D12 or D20? 12. One, two, D12. Okay. <clears throat> it's in for the long haul. Uh, your attack. Okay. That's going to be a 22 this time. Hit. <clears throat> I have to see that is eight hit points of damage. You got yourself a belt. As you... What, what weapon were you using? I'm so happy. You were using um, the staff, uh, right? Quarter staff. So that's bludgeoning damage. You yeah, have staff. Snap the head right off. Holding the staff down, you yank the body and tear the head off. You now have a four foot rope that you can use on that blue robe of yours. <laughs> uh, yep. Azari, right. everything's fine in front of you. <laughs> Can I do That's a good. medicine check on Tech Tech to see how well I apply the... the oh, I, I, I'm tech? waiting for this one. <laughs> Bring on Ernie rolls. Uh, no, not today. 23. Uh, you have stabilized Tech Tech. Okay. Uh, your laceration on top of the puncture wound uh, has allowed the dribbling of opaque fluid to come out of his neck. You think... Uh, you may have saved Tech Tech's life. It's just like um... his labored breathing starts to rhythmically return. Um, I I look for for others. I tell him, hold on, and look to see if there's anybody in close proximity and signal to them without screaming. <laughs> I guess I don't see anything. You don't see shit. Tech Tech veered off uh, his course and oh. cut you off. And courtesy of the die roll, he's the one that got the attack. So it could have been you. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> he, he's obviously not in condition to walk, so I fireman cradled him. <laughs> oh, this should be good for your attacks. <laughs> uh, it's either that or leave him dying in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Ingve, you're going to be delayed by several rounds. Okay. Dave, Rakir, Azari, you reach the edge of the high grasses and you stop. Uh, you kind of peek out. Here is the valley that Grek was talking about. There's a small stream running through it and there are a considerable amount of large mammals here, including baby mammals the size of ponies. Uh, these are the chattel that you seek uh, as you kind of peek out <clears throat> of the high grasses no one has moved, no one has exited. So you are either really fast or you're supposed to wait for something. Uh, Dave, do you want to wait or charge? Uh, well, I'm going to wait, but I'm going to pull out my fur-lined cloak and flip it around so that I have fur and tie it over me and present, and then I'm going to crouch down low so that I look like a fur-bearing animal from a distance. You know one of these guys is going to confuse you for chattel and kill you, right? Let's see, it's so I should so be about bad. half that. <laughs> Murder hobo right here. I'll take the chance. I'm supposed to sneak up on these things. And I'm not going to like wait entirely. I'm just going to slowly stealth forward. 
Okay. Hey, like my Dave playing. cloak? <laughs> <laughs> Wolf. Rakir got himself a belt. I got a Dave cloak. Uh, Rakir, uh, with the rattlesnake slung over your neck or wherever, uh, you come to the edge. What would you like to do? I'll wait. I'll uh, I'll wait for everyone. Um, uh, especially, I'm going to wait for Azari. You know, because he's really super strong and you know, he's really cool. He's real tall. Uh, you know, yeah, throw you, snakes at people. <laughs> <laughs> I kill NPCs. That is my job. That's his job. Uh, Azari, inadvertent. <laughs> inadvertently. I can't tell if I have job. killed in another game. <laughs> uh, Azari, you reach the edge and you notice that uh, Doff hasn't charged into the valley either. Would you like to wait or would you like to charge? Uh, I will unstring my bow and kind of just sit there and I'll keep looking around waiting. I'm kind of more trying to keep my eyes out for one of the uh, the bird creature thing, the wild turkey things. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and look for that in if one of those happen to pop up. They're really easy to kill, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, everybody including Igve perception check. Nice. That 20. Also. Uh, so <laughs> 12. nice. 12. Uh, 27 altogether. Even the twelves hear it. Uh, a very Xena-esque scream is heard from the left side as Lokai breaks through the grass, flanked by her lieutenant. To the right, uh, the other three members of the experienced uh, warriors are way ahead of you guys and have cut off several members of the chattel who are now charging towards you, zigzagging, Gotta in various fucking. locations. Uh, they are going to, they will be in missile range, not melee range at this time. And after hearing Lokai and seeing them, Dave? Uh, how far are you saying missile range? Uh, 60. Oh, okay, good. Javelins it is. Uh, everybody hears Doff yell. <laughs> He's oh, broken good. free he and dead. he is headed that way, uh, waving, hey, you guys. waving a large battle axe. Uh, in tow is Eck, not exactly feeling it, uh, but guarding his brother's backside. Uh, everybody with missile weapons wants to attack, except Ingve, who's still trekking through the grass, uh, doing a forest gump with bum on his I, back. Uh, yeah, <laughs> something. <laughs> Hopefully nothing bites me. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. Uh, so Dave, we'll start with you. Do you want to shoot? Yep. Yeah, I'm going to use my atlatl to put a javelin out there. Sure. There Maybe. are two smaller creatures, not pony size, but smaller female, and one larger creature that seems to be headed in everybody's general direction. I'm going to target the larger creature. That's okay. a 24 to hit. Easily. And uh, what do we got here? That's going to be a D8. Where's the damned eight? That's that one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Cool. Uh, eight damage. Piercing, that nice. is, from the javelin. To the big Point. guy. Big daddy. Nice. Okay. Uh, then right. I'll re-grab my spear and be ready. Gotcha. Uh, Rakir, do you have any missile weapons? I have darts. I don't know if they have the same range. I always kind of thought that was about a 30-foot effective range. I don't know if I can do a 60-foot with the dart. I, I would agree, unless you want to launch it <laughs> <laughs> with a natural one and stab a Zari in the eye. <laughs> uh, 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 Azari, you got anything that'll reach 60? What's that? Yeah, hey, I got a long time. Watch this. <laughs> uh, hey, Azari, catch. <laughs> all right. Okay. Uh, let's see. That is uh, 18. Uh, who are you targeting? The larger one. Gotcha. Yep, that hits. Okay, and I do uh, six points of piercing damage. Nicely done. Uh, you guys have done well. Uh, everybody except Ingve, roll initiative. Ingve, what is your strength? 
modifier or total? Total. Total uh, 16. Okay. Right. You'll be able to carry tech tech. Dave. 18. Uh, Rakir. Rakir. I think he's muted. Oh. Sorry, sorry. Um, can we can hear him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what, what, what was I needing to roll initiative? Mm -hmm. okay. Azari? That'll be, that be an 11. Gotcha. Sorry um, about that. Sorry, I got so 18 as well. You're fine. Uh, the 18s go again. Uh, all three creatures are closing. The male is going to hone in on the path of number one, Dave. Uh, you pissed the male off. Uh, Good. I've got a spear for him this time. Female calf will go after. Wow. I just keep rolling a one. I've rolled three ones in a row. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Dave, they're pissed at you. <laughs> I, I, I cannot change those rolls. Uh, the male is leading them in a charge. So um, how much time do I have? Can I throw my spear and then go to melee range? Uh, yeah, but you won't get to attack because they that doesn't are coming, matter. They're coming. I have a tech. bonus action. Yeah, I'll let you throw. Okay, I'll throw uh, my and spear. As bonus action, I'll let you shit yourself. <laughs> oh no, I get to do the other thing. Okay. Uh, my throws a sixteen. That hits. Uh, eight plus uh, four is uh, 12 points of damage. Gotcha. And pulling my axe off of its straps, I scream, and rage. Fair nice. enough. <laughs> uh, 18 Azari. Uh, they're all kind of moving that away. How far away are they still? Uh, they're about 20 feet because they they're hard charging. Not all three are going to be able to hit Dave. Okay. Uh, one is going to go on the far side of Dave. One is going to go on the other side of Dave uh, near Sibo. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll continue. I'll fire another arrow at the larger male. Nat 20. Damage, damage modifier. Nice. Uh, okay. Do, 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 do. That is uh, 10, 13 points of piercing damage with my arrow. And that's, they're not, uh, are any of them within 10 feet of me? Nope, not yet. Okay. Uh, okay. You also notice uh, that the dumbass twins are chasing their own to your right. Okay. Uh, and they are engaged. Uh, Dave, uh, my turn. Yep. Uh, yep. The lead bull uh, is just got hate-filled eyes. And we love as, each other the same. As he lunges at you, an arrow uh, notches in his neck. His head turns and his body grinds into the soil i will attack you at disadvantage as i die you're welcome uh 19 <laughs> and two it stops right at your feet uh the other cow goes off to your left it's right the other one, attack of opportunity <laughs> uh no it is not that one is kind of offset the other one is going after sibo and she, oh is her initiative. Yeah, she lost. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, plus five to hit you guys. Oh good, and the charge is an additional 2d6. You know what? Screw these NPCs, I'm using murder hobo dice. Uh oh. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Sibo goes down. <laughs> and Ingve learns the hard lesson of triage. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> you are about ready to break the grass, though. Sibo uh, and Tech Tech are down. Rock here. Uh, you're up. You see uh, the other initiate fall. As she is gored. Too bad. Um... Uh, 
The love, baby. Too bad. <laughs> it's just that's just the way of things. Uh, you know, the laws of nature. Uh, and I'm pretty by the book, uh, you know, type of guy. That's just the way it's meant to be, I suppose. Um, I'll uh, he walks over her cold you know, dead corpse. <laughs> <laughs> Step. <laughs> I leave her body. <laughs> you know, I mean, doesn't say rainbow and you know, unicorn just, just campaign. Makes, <laughs> no, it does not. It does not. So after after um, uh, Sibo was gored, did the did the um, child, did, did it keep going or did it stop the gore and is it is it standing there to where, where I can attack it? It is going to bludgeon her with hooves after seeing its mate die. Uh, so you may attack it. It is in melee range. Okay, well, <clears throat> um, I'm not. Um, I'm, I'm going to, because all it'll do is I turn it over to me. Yeah, uh, instead, I want to go see what, I want to go see what Dolph and Eck are doing. What are, what, what are Dolph and Eck doing? As you toodle your way across the meadow, you see Doff and Eck fighting one about 80, 80 100 feet away. Uh, they seem to be in battling it. They seem to be doing a reasonable I'll take job. one of my darts and throw it in their general direction. Sure, go ahead. You will also notice uh, Ingve coming across. He has apparently killed uh, Tech Tech. Or no. Who did you get? Tech Tech. Tech Tech. Tech Tech. Yeah. Yeah, he, he has apparently killed Tech Tech and is wearing him as robe. <laughs> <laughs> is he is he still alive? Or, I mean, he was stable the last time. He's I stable, but of course you're jostling him. So I mean, you know, I'm yeah. trying to get him to safety and to others. Yeah. The, the Rock would 18. be proud. Eighteen hits. Eight, eight, eight. I assume you're going after the chattel, not. Well, I mean, it, it was in a general direction. Uh, I, I wasn't really targeting, just just kind of chunking it in that thing. But but if it hits, great. Um, that's good. I'll give you the hit on the chattel. Okay, 1d4. That's going to be five hit points of damage. Very nice. It's not like we can do anything to that about it. Uh, top of right. the order, uh, Ingve, you break into the meadow. You see complete chaos and carnage going on. Whatever. I mean, you see Rakir fling a dart right past you uh, over to the bison and the others, uh, the twins. You also see Azari to your right. You don't really see Dave, and you aren't really sure what's going on. But there are several of these chattel running around. Lokai is on her own, beating the shit out of a large bull. Damn. <laughs> okay. Uh, I look for cover to someplace secure that I can place Tech Tech. And I um, grass with the snakes. I mean, is there <laughs> is there a stone? Is there, you know, I know it's a metal meadow. What are my chances of finding a large stone for cover? I'll give you a medium-sized stone with that roll. Okay. Large enough to give him some partial... Place him on his back on the... I sit him on the sacrificial <laughs> rock. <laughs> it's medicine, don't worry. Don't worry, it's medicine. I gotta bleed him out. <laughs> you so, don't have to pound the wound. <laughs> it's Bronze Age healing. <laughs> That's it. Get the toxin out. <laughs> you can set him next to the stone and what would CPR. you do? <laughs> Into his face. That's where he breathes. You gotta start yeah. there. It's like well, a baby. You gotta smack it to breathe. <laughs> nice. Now we're beating up babies. Oh, that uh, that now, took an I'll... hour and 15 minutes, folks. There we go. <laughs> Remember, if you aren't punching babies, you aren't doing this game right. Okay, exactly. Yves, what do you want to do? Everything is chaotic. No actual children were harmed in the making of this program. Yeah, <laughs> no, none more. <laughs> Plus, they were watching, and then they're permanently scarred. Okay. Criminal guidance is extremely I make sure Tech Tech is secure, and I look for my nearest comrade, um, uh, left and right. Who would be the closest? Zari is the closest. Rakir is not that far away either. Okay. Dave um, is MIA. Okay. He's gone. Do I know? Do I sense any distress from them or anything like that? 
complete chaos. You aren't sure. And I should have put a snake on that hot rock. Because <laughs> <laughs> it would be sun in itself. That's right. Um, uh, do I notice Sibo? Mm, no, because she's down. Okay. Okay. Do I notice the bull, uh, the, the female? Uh, you, know, you notice a cow, a bull, a cow, a cow, warriors, uh, loci, dipshit twins, Azari, Rakir. Still no Dave. I think he went to the movies. Okay. That's right. The movies. All right. Uh, you said Rakir was closer or? Azari's uh, closer to you. Azari. Uh, okay. Not trying to give him away his position or whatever if he's being tactical. If I notice him, I'm going to start moving my way there. there. Everybody is out in the open. You're okay. just late to the party. Okay. I'm, I'm coming in <laughs> to, to join Azari. Okay. Uh, top of the order 18, Dave, uh, you got a female cow on you. What do you want to do? Oh, well, I'm going to scream Alon at the top of my lungs again and smash her! With a one. No, not quite. Um, that's a 17. That hits. And where's my beautiful D12? 12 plus four, 16 points of damage. Nicely done. Slashing. Uh, 18, Azari. Oh, uh, Ingve, go ahead and roll initiative two. Azari, you're up. Okay. Uh, so now Dave has got the female after him. The male that was there is dead. Yep, there's another female beyond that part okay. of the trio. There's a female out in the middle. There's a okay. female with the dipshit twins. Okay. There's a bull with Lokai and a bull with the three warriors. The okay. lieutenant is MIA. Okay. Um, I will fire off another arrow at the female attacking Dave. I rolled a 12 in initiative. That works. Uh, I'm guessing that's going to miss. It's a 10. I uh, know 10 actually hits these. Oh, things. 10 hits. Oh, geez. Okay. They're like ogres. They're easy to hit. They're just hard to kill. Okay. Um, and that's nine points of piercing damage. That's uh, my arrow. That'll, that'll make it nice. Uh, my turn. I will try and hit Dave. I don't have his shit close to me, but I don't need to. Cause that's 18 plus five. Uh, I will try and bludgeon him with my hooves, and he will need to make a strength check. So he's going to eat. Hey, Dave, give me a strength check, please. Aye, aye. And take uh, five hit points of 20. damage. Uh, you are not knocked over, uh, but she does uh, give you a little hoof action. All right. Uh, how many hit points of damage? Five and it's bludgeoning. So if you're taking so half, three. it's two. Round two? down. Two? Okay. Yep. Round down. All righty. Got you. I don't uh, even notice that because I'm so mighty. That's right. Uh, let's see how the dipshits are doing. Uh, okay. Huh. No shit. Uh, the twins are doing really well. Uh, Tech Tech is down. Sibo needs a death save. Okay. Uh, there are the one I'm going to rule stays on the twins. The other one, one, two, three, four. You know what? I'm going to roll a six. Uh, we're going to go one through four. Five and six will be somebody else. Damn murder hobo dice. Uh, over to uh, Igve, you've got the 12. Rock here has the 11. So Igve, the twins are on a cow. Uh, there's a cow behind Rock here. Uh, and then there's action scattered about. Okay. Um, has Rock, um, okay, I'm with Azari though, right? Correct, and Rakir was focused in on the twins' uh, okay. cow. Okay. Uh, and Azari is focused on... Is he engaged? I'm sorry, I, I lost track. Longbow to uh, Dave's uh, cow. Oh, okay, okay. So we're on Dave's cow, or or bull, or whatever. Um, 
yeah, with uh, with that, uh, uh, it's high grass, right? I mean, not, not in the valley. Not in the valley. Not in the valley. Okay. It has been trampled on and eaten. Okay. These things are like sheep. Towards the one that that uh, that Dave and Azir is there. How far away is is the the one that they're attacking from me? Uh, I've got a I, thirty foot range. Azari, what did I say it was? Like twenty. Yeah. yeah. So I'll, I'll give you it. Go ahead. Okay. I produce flame. Oh and, boy. Uh, <laughs> you, using using the quarter staff. <laughs> grassland. <laughs> yes. That's what I got. It's there's the no more high grass. <laughs> so yeah. there's none now. <laughs> uh, right. Is it is it a direct line or? Yeah, it's doing? a direct line. It's Holy a direct... shit! Uh, Rock here. Give me a dexterity check. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I rolled a nat twenty to hit. Nice. So twenty six. Uh, it's a ball. It's not. It's not like a launch of. It's not. It's not a stream of flame or anything. Right, but it's a ball that travels. Yeah, it is a ball that travels. So how much damage? Uh, you know what? Roll your first damage die and add your modifier. Okay. And tell me what that result is. Uh, that is thirteen. Uh, take six rock here flame damage oh shit add add your second die okay uh which is uh d8 okay without the modifier correct yeah because you've already added the modifier yeah so what 13 plus 13 plus 2 15 uh, total dave yours implodes in fire uh somebody is unconscious let's see if you well you said nat 20 right yeah oh she's fucked okay uh -oh. oh shit that's minus two for SIBO oh shit sorry yeah yeah you and a, you and Azari are real sorry <laughs> uh rock here uh this ball comes launching past you uh I'm going to say you don't have an eyebrow and some of your hair is missing now. Mm. You were going to shave it anyway. <laughs> uh, and it is your turn. Uh, you are facing Igve, Azari, the twins, and their cow, which appears to be on its last leg. So you saw, under no uncertain terms, how and why you got burnt. As I'm Mr. like, Mr. Sorry. Mini Fireball, there. I say sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Broken arrow. Broken arrow. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try to steal the, the dipshit twins thunder and chuck another, uh, chuck another dart at their, at their cow, denying them the honor of a kill. Sure. <clears throat> A five, uh, sorry, eight plus five is a 13. That hits. Damage. That'll be a four plus, that's a seven more hit points of damage to whatever they were attacking. Now, Frank, in the midst of exploded chattel, do I see Sibo on the ground? You do now. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna use my movement to rush to her to stabilize her. Next round, you will. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. That's my intention. Uh, <laughs> at least you didn't hit tech tech too, jackass. Uh, Rakir, <laughs> you, you and Ek uh, connect at the same time, bringing the cow to its knees, slumping down. Uh, Doff uh, starts hacking at its head. Uh, it's a lot thicker than he thought it was. Uh, and he's just uh, 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 lumberjacking that shit. As we begin the next round, let's see if <laughs> Igve has his first kill. He does not. <laughs> Thank God. Okay, I rush to her. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to try to stabilize her, pick her up, 
take her back to Tech Tech. Her flesh peels away like uh, he's in Vietnam and you just iced her. Uh, so give me your medicine check there, Doc Brown. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Marty! <laughs> you never have it, kids! <laughs> uh, 17 for a medicine check. Okay. Uh, she's going to get stabilized. Uh, Dave, your kill is on fire. BBQ at your place. Rakir, Rips tonight, Dave. <laughs> Rakir, you have gone ahead and assisted Doff and Eck, although will they give you any credit or not is yet to be seen. Azari, you have also assisted in Dave's kill. You notice uh, Tech Tech sunning himself on a stone. Thanks for helping. Uh, as you guys all look around, uh, you see several injured warriors. Uh, Lokai is gone and found her lieutenant, who is on the deck. Uh, it, it is like a bowl, so you guys have a pretty clear view of everything with the stream running around. Uh, the battle is over. You have survived your first hunt, despite the actions of Azari and Igwe. <laughs> uh, Flying Dave. snakes are scary. You guys don't know. You guys don't know the wilderness like I do. Flying snakes you, are out they there. They fly. Uh, yeah. So we'll, we'll start with Dave. Do you want to try and put your cow out? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll like pat the flames out and maybe rip off a rib and start gnawing on it while I do that. Sure. Okay. Uh, I'm down right. off my rage a little. Rock here. Do you want to go over and talk to the twins and see if they're going to share the kill with you? Or collect I'm, I'm not going to give them the option. I'm just going to go, just going to go right up there, and start uh, and start cutting off the cutting off the ears and making a little necklace to uh, to uh, claim the to claim the kill as my own. I'm I'm not going to ask him permission. Cool. They're, they're stupid. Uh, they're stupid people. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Hawkeye Pierce. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing with uh, Sibo? Uh, I, I take him back and uh, if I can see that pretty much the action is over, I call to everybody to me to for healing and I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do healing word. And you're going to flame him again? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Azari, uh, looking over the carnage, uh, what would you like to do? Uh, does the bull like have any, is it just like, does it have any horns or anything on the bull? Yeah. Uh, I'll go over to the bull and, uh, carve off one horn. You ever see um, your highness? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that where they're at? Nice. It looks like that. <laughs> I'll still do it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're going to have a hard time carving the, uh, bull's horn off. Uh, oh, we'll just see. Actually, we'll see. I'll see. Actually, I'll stop. I'll see what every what we want to do with this. Is this a full size bull? We, if yeah, we're going to carry I'm, it all back, or yeah, I'm waiting to take my spear and javelin out until after uh, somebody in authority tells us what we're doing. Oh, I'll I'll Go start like, tying up the like tying up the hooves uh, together with my rope, like tying it to make it easier to drag the body. Uh, I see Dave took some some injuries, right? You see, Dave yeah. took some injuries, and you also see Lo Kai helping her lieutenant over. Okay, it's nothing. I, I call them to me, and uh, she she will come in. Uh, she will look at it. Uh, she will see Rakir and the twins. Uh, Rakir, uh, D twelve against me. Let's see uh, how we do. Eight. <laughs> uh, hey, go fuck yourself, pal. This is our kill. They got an eleven. <laughs> yeah, and I said no. I have two darts in this animal. That's Ooh, my kill. That's the two proof. darts. I, yeah, you see right the in the neck. You see the slashes. You see yeah, the heavy on, yeah, on its ass. You're not going to do any good with that, you dumbass. Oh wow! It's getting, it's oh, getting yeah, real. Yeah, 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 yeah. Real. Uh what did you call me? <laughs> Nat 20. <laughs> that was a good rock here. <laughs> uh, Eck is uh, understandably concerned. 
Mm-hmm. So you're facing off with Doff. Uh, he doesn't look like he's going to take your shit. Mm-hmm. Where's 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 Azari? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Az- Azari is over uh, trying to pull the horns off the bull over by Dave. No, I, I stopped with the horn pulling. I'm just tying it up to get ready to La- drag out. Lashing the hooves. Uh, yeah. However, Grek uh, appears to be coming over in your direction, Rakir. Well, I'm, I'm going to stand, but I'm, I'm going to stand there. But I'm, but I'm, but I'm not going to do anything. Okay. Just, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to say. <laughs> Look, I'll I'll split the kill with you, but but those are my darts. Uh, you can tell that Eck is injured, and Eck is not saying shit. Yeah, Eck's the, no. the small. But that's I'm just I'm just I'm gonna stand my ground a little bit, but I'm I I don't want to I don't want to fight with Doff. But you know I I want I want the respect for what I did. You know, I'm um, tired of getting pushed around. I'm a fucking hunter now. Uh, funny you should say that because Grek walks up and pushes you both out of the way. <laughs> 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 Tells Eck to go over uh, to Ingve, who's uh, the healer, uh, and says, you two start prepping this thing for transportation back. Okay. Uh, Doff. <laughs> two. Yes, sir. Uh, he will acquiesce and mutter underneath his breath, pulling out his carving knife <laughs> and start working on the kill. Uh, it will be presumed that, as Azari has already figured out, you guys are going to prep these things back uh, for food for uh, the city of Ba. Uh, and you have all done quite well. Uh, so that's well, except for Azari killing somebody and Ingve killing somebody. <laughs> I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't kill them, the snake killed them. I mean, I stabilized them, they're not dead. I set them on fire and then I stabilized them. So I'm like, Phil Bar must be on. fed. Um, it's called cauterizing a wound, <laughs> yeah, duh, yeah, rock here. <laughs> uh, so uh, if he comes to get the healing, it'll <coughs> uh, grow back in six days. And Elon taketh away. <laughs> Igre, you're healing. Uh, Dave, Azari is working on the bull. Do you want to work? You were working on the flaming calf, correct? Yep. Yeah. So if you want to skin it, uh, which is presumptuous, but probably correct. Uh, you will need to skin it with a DC 14 animal handling. He wants his baby back ribs. Oh, what is my animal handling? Do I have an animal handling? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, okay. here we go. DC bull. 14. Um, yeah, that's that's a 14. So, uh, so you may no, it's not. To get... No, it's not. I don't have a bonus to an- to animal handling. It's only a 13. No, I don't. Uh, you need to work on that uh but you know you'll get it prepped uh azari you had the bull yeah uh go ahead okay so like skinny it trying to uh either that or if you are wanting those horns or it's beard because you know the bison have the big beards okay your choice um let's just try and we'll try and do the full gamut skin it Horns, beard, meat as much as I can. Go ahead. Animal handling, you said? Yep. Okay. So it's a 19. You're certainly 20. handling an animal. 24. Uh, somebody used to be in Whitechapel, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I just watched a lot of... Uh, knife. <laughs> I just watch a lot of Top Chef. <laughs> there you go. Uh, your mystery basket will include uh, burnt rack here, eyebrow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have the jitters from all the rage. So that's why I could. <laughs> uh, Rock here, you uh, are with Doff, and Doff seems puzzled. He's got his knife out, 
but he's he's looking at the animal carcass and he's trying to figure out how it should be charcuterie. Do you want to shove him out of the way and do it yourself or let him do it? I'll um <clears throat> I'll sim I'll say to to Dolph. Get the d just just go. I mean just 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 go. I'll do. I mean he, just he steps go. back, puts his dagger back in the sheath. Okay. I'm a fucking hunter now. I'm a fucking hunter now. <laughs> <laughs> oh big boy. <laughs> Oh, big boy. Animal I have big boy pants. Right? What? Animal handling? Mm -hmm. Animal handling? Okay. Okay, that's a 13. Uh, you, much like Dave, are close. Uh, your skills are a little bit off, but okay. Dolph's like, I could have done better. <laughs> that's what your mother said. Hey. He says, out of the way, I'm taking its testicles. The hell you are. Can you even find its testicles? Yeah. This is a cow. Good luck, dumbass. <laughs> nice. Let's see how he takes that. Oh, please a, start a fight. Come on. A four. Uh, fine. I didn't need the testicles anyway. I got my own, and they're huge. So I don't need them. Dick. Not what your sister says. <laughs> <laughs> Eck has left. Uh, Ingve, he's going to be in your circle of healing. Okay. Uh, Lokai comes by, and you notice she has dipped her fingers in blood, and she has two marks. Uh, Dave, she looks at your kill. Dips one finger in and gives you the streak down the forehead. Azari. Right after she does that, I'm going to pointedly walk over to the bull and pull my spear and javelin out of it and put it in my backpack. Fair enough. Uh, I Azari, won't say anything. She looks at you. Gives you the streak. Uh, Igve. Good job. Uh, right that's here. A, that's okay. <laughs> uh, she looks at you and Doff. And gives you both credit. Um, she sees the puncture wounds. Uh, she sees the slashing. She doesn't care. You guys have done what you needed to do. Uh, she looks around uh, and says, drag the meat all into one central location. We'll use Azari's bull as the point of entry. The uh, three warriors uh, move their kill in. She goes back. Uh, for her kill uh, and the lieutenant and both wounded individuals are with Ingve. Everybody is gathered together. There's a whole lot of flesh here. Uh, she tells you to go ahead and start quartering it out so that we can all carry stuff. Uh, so those are your orders. Ingve, time to get your hands dirty. Uh, I help. You each uh, will be granted success. Uh, each of you has trophies or will have trophies in the case of Ingve. Uh, you can put two notches in whatever weapon you have since you almost helped kill two people. Uh, <laughs> but your first hunt has been successful and you've taken uh, trophies. The blood on your forehead has dried quickly and you have no desire to clean it so that you can show everybody off the badge of honor. Uh, as you start to hack it uh, up, everybody roll straight up d20. Uh, Dave, six. Uh, six. Fifteen. Thirteen. <laughs> uh, Dave, Rakir, uh, you managed to get your quarters out, and it has become clear to you that you guys are on bitch duty because you are the new guys. You guys will be carrying uh, 
Figured. the load, uh, especially since uh, there are three injured, although recently healed. Uh, the other injuries were not very <clears throat> uh, severe, uh, but everybody has a few notches on them. Uh, again, you guys are on bitch duty, uh, but Rakir and Dave, you get your jobs done and you head into the grasslands. I just have one question. Sure. Is that is that wound I got going to leave a nice scar? How much Sunny. damage did I do? Two. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be kind of like trying to just milk it out. <laughs> be <laughs> <enough>. <laughs> as bloody as possible. This was only 18 inches away from my karate. <laughs> yeah. I was pretty much. I was that close to die. <laughs> uh, Igme and Azari, you guys are a little bit slow. You're either meticulous or not very good at it. Azari, you are probably more used to healing than to carving. Azari, you are probably just trying to save as much as you can. Uh, Rakir and Dave. Do you want to leave the slow pokes alone and head in with the rest of the tribe or help them out? We'll help what do you out. I think. Nah, I, I, I think we need to help out. All right. I, I think we need to help out. Okay. I'm actually a leather worker. So all those that help out, right. I can make nice things for them. <laughs> nice. Uh, as you guys are finishing up your work, uh, the sun is starting to set because obviously the charcuterie took a little bit longer than any of you anticipated. There's a large swath of the high grass that have been crushed under the feet of the triumphant warriors of the Ba clan. Azari, Igve, you finish up as the sun is starting to set. Everybody, perception check. Well, 20, not natural. 13, 11, 21. Everybody hears a bayful howl. <laughs> Do we recognize it? Maybe a wolf, <clears throat> probably a big one. Uh, the 21 will notice that it's coming from the high grasses. Uh, I will point out that it's. I will point out to the rest of us that the, there's a wolf in the high grass. Uh, it could more than likely it'll be a pack. Wolves do not travel alone. With all this blood, it's no wonder. Well, if you hadn't been trying to saw that fucking horn off for so long. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot thicker than I thought. Uh, <laughs> so great. Now, now have, have a low cock <coughs> and all the other ones already gone off or are we more or less by ourselves? Mm. Okay. Ingve, do you still have more fire? I do. Uh, sure, let's uh, set the meadow on fire. <laughs> our best move then would be to take would be to take what we have and leave some of the meat for the wolf. Okay. And we'll take what's left more than likely instead of chasing leaving a pile us. of guts for the wolves. Yeah, yes. I, I agree. I agree. And with that, uh, the, I'll take rear guard. Yeah. How how dark is it? Uh, it's it's dusk. Oh, okay. It's, it's not not dark, dark enough for flame yet. No. Yeah. No. I will, and, uh, normal vision is still acceptable. I'll okay. take the since I've since I skinned the skinned it fairly well. I'll take all of that, take the meat, and put it in the skin and use it as like a sack. As like a sack, yeah. And take the rope and throw it over my back and like then we need to be off before the sun does set. And I kind of make yep. like a sling back with it. So I'll Who's load the, up as much meat in my cape as I can and tie it up. Do the same thing, but I'll take was, the rear guard position. Who's the fastest other than Dave? Probably me. I have a 35 speed. Who's the slowest? I mean, uh, I'm a human, so 30. Okay. Uh, Dave, your rear guard? Yep. D D12. Hell yeah. What was that? Nine. We tied. We roll. I have a nine. I'm switching dice. Six. There you go. Uh, as you guys cut through the large swath of broken grass caused by Lokai and the others, who incidentally was dragging a huge freaking bison head, 
Number two, uh, Rakir, everybody roll initiative. Yes. Fuck yeah. Nice. Ow. Rolling initiative. Hey, Kai. Uh, 12 for <clears throat> uh, Ingve. 18 again. What can I say? It's my initiative. 18 number as well. 19 Aha. this time. Uh, Azari, uh, it looks like it's going to be Dave at the back. Rakir leading, I assume? Or who wanted yeah, to lead? That's fine. Uh, the uh, avenue, such as it is, is cut off by a large wolf. One might even say dire situation at hand. Well, Azari, you have the 19, so you're up first. Um. Is it how close is it to us? Or? It, it'll be melee range for Rakir. Okay. Um, I will run up to Rakir and then I will use my uh, uh, Dante. That's with your meat sack. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I will use my daunting roar. Um, so, as a bonus action, it will frighten the chosen creature within 10 feet until I finish my next turn. Um, so I will pretty much run up to him like, Rah! and he has to roll a DC 14 wisdom save. <laughs> Bad puppy. If he had thumbs. Dave and Rakir, you have 18s. Uh, yep. You're up. How far? He's far from me, is he not? You're first, Dave. You, you can run up because you are number four in line, but the swath yeah. is large enough because everybody went before you. Oh, well, then I will definitely run up and take a moment to cut loose that meat sack and rage. Okay. Rock and here. then I will swing my giant axe right at his face. Sure, go ahead. Not 20. Damage, damage modifier. Yep, 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 yep. Where's that oh, D12? Where's that been, bonus D12? Must have been the look of shame from Azari. <laughs> um, that, is, that is 22 plus 4 plus 2 for rage damage is uh, 28 points of damage. Gotcha. Rock here. Nice. Bad hit. puppy! <laughs> Rock here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah Rock. You're up. I, I, I was just being silent. That's all. Oh, Thanks, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll um, <clears throat> I'll throw a dart and then I'll uh, use a bonus action to uh to kick the puppy with my teeth. This one arm is right bonus action for a month. Nice. One dart. Yes. <laughs> and that one with my dart. Uh, Dave and Azari are next to you, so. One to two, Dave. Three to four, Rakir. Five to six, Azari. Pays to go last, One. Did they? <laughs> One. You hit Dave That's in the back six. of the head. Oh, you hit Azari six. in the back of the head. <laughs> nice, thanks. Poor Azari. Oh, at least it wasn't a snake, bitch. <laughs> snakes are flying. I don't know what the problem is. That's, that's, there, uh, there are we all know there snakes. are flying snakes. Everybody knows that. Watch that's, out for that's snakes. six hit points total. But, but but I think he gets half right, yeah. So yep. three. So three. Jeez. <laughs> uh, you are you are now in an English pub, and you are so drunk, yeah. you are putting your hand on the dartboard itself. Uh, with those two gone, it looks like it's my turn. Uh, one to no, two. I, I still have my I still have my bonus. Oh, I still have my bonus action. Right, that, that's the unarmed. Ball going to be a thirteen. Uh, no, so we're going to miss. Uh, I, I kick and I miss. As Tyson ducks underneath your uh, punch, the dire wolf is going to go after six, not Azari's day. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> uh, snaps the bite. Uh, seven plus five is 12. Does it go okay? That's uh, not miss. Uh, Igve, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to uh, attempt to give it an uppercut. Start a fire. Start a fire. Start a fire. <laughs> it's just us, guys. <laughs> As you come up over the top. Well, everybody's engaged, so 
you know, I'm not going to hurl a fireball. You know, I think you should put one leg on Azari's calf, yeah. use the other leg on the dart in the back of his head, and just <laughs> launch yourself <laughs> over the top. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. Scream yeah. the name of your gods as you do it. My <laughs> name is Azari, and I am a guru. Gu- 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 <laughs> <laughs> And Azari poops himself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's no litter box here. <laughs> well, I mean, they're they're all up in its grill, right? Oh yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna join the play. Azari's uh, yelling at it for some reason. <laughs> uh, casting Shillelagh, uh, I'm gonna take a. It swing sometimes for it. works. <laughs> a twenty-one to hit. Oh yeah, easily. Okay. Uh, that is uh, nine points of blood bludgeoning damage. Uh, the shillelagh comes right in between Rakir and Azari uh, for nine points of damage as it clubs it. Let's go with Azari, uh, top of the order. Okay. Uh, I will pull out my short sword and attack. Yep. Uh, 23 to hit. Easily. Okay. And How strong is Gary? Uh, six points of piercing damage. And that's all I got. Uh, Rock here and Dave roll a d20. Straight up. 13. Unmodified. I missed it. 13 and Rock here. Eight. Uh, Dave, uh, Gloria the Kill is going to go to you. You guys tied. You're going to act just a little bit sooner than Rock here. Take your shot. That's a 17 to hit. It's dead. <laughs> nice. Uh, Azari missed it by one. Uh, however, it has suffered three slashing uh, attacks. Do you want to charcuterie uh, this prize, or what would you like to do? Yeah. I can, yes. take, a hand, I can take a hand at it, too. Since Who, I'm taking its head. No helping. Okay. Dave, if, if you're going to swing the axe, give me a two hit. Uh oh. 16. Yeah, you snap the head off. Rakir, Igve, Azari. And it's going to be a really nice hat. Who wants to charcuterie this? There is no helping in this. Uh, I have a plus six uh, animal handling and survival. So it's up to you you guys. I've I've got it. Okay. Mine's a plus five, so, but yeah, go for it. Uh, yeah, animal handling or I'm survival, sure Frank? On. I'm going to cheer you on. Yingve, you're the best. Animal I'm going to. This. You're the best. Aziri, Dave, we are so good. This is fan. Oh, shit. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to turn around while he's carving, and I'm going to start looking out and trying to keep an eye oh, out for hey, things hey, coming. Hey, the go. smart one of the group. Uh, Igbe, what'd you roll? So smart. Uh, survival or animal handling? Animal. Animal. Uh, with that, I rolled uh, 17. Yeah. You, uh, this mangy beast has a, a much easier pelt because it's emaciated. Uh, you managed to slit it right down the center. Uh, you can take wolf testicles if you want. <laughs> Give them to Dolph's ear rings. <laughs> yeah, that's what we do. You know, paper, paper clip them together and just attach them to his back. Hey, hey, Dolph, we found your balls. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We found them actually in Lokai's back pocket. So, <laughs> oh, oh, Shane. Uh, with that, the sun is beginning to set and you make your trek forward, carrying your meat bags and your trophies uh, as you reach the city of Ba in an hour. It is really starting to get dark, but a glow is emitted from Ba as the celebration is in full tilt. This brings us to the end of episode one, the Calamity Campaign. Congratulations, gentlemen. You have survived with some amount of hilarity. (laughs) Jesse, what'd you think? That was good. It was fun. I like the uh, setup so far. I wonder what shit show's going to happen next. (laughs) With you four, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. (laughs) Uh, Dave, what'd you think? 
Or I think I got covered in blood and I loved it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rock here, what'd you think? You're faint. No, I, 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 I'm, I'm not on mute. Okay, now we can hear you fine. Okay, no, it, 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 everyone is just the best. The just best. pull your head out of your ass, Scott, then we can hear you. <laughs> Everybody's the best except Dave. He's kind of an asshole. Uh, maybe you can trade <laughs> Dave for Dolph. Uh, last but not least, Igbe, what'd you think? Uh, I enjoyed it. I, I think we synergized pretty good. Uh, yeah, I give thanks to the gods. And, you know. Yeah, you synergized service. real well. How's that face, Rock here? <laughs> <laughs> Let me take Some... the dart out of the back of my head. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got to leave it in there so that uh, Felicia sees it, you know, battle ah. scar, and maybe uh, she can acquiesce to your request <laughs> sent via private message. Rock here, uh, here's a salve. There you go. <laughs> so each of you have, I think, minor wounds or just nicks and cuts, right? Mm, yeah. So you got your, yeah. your battle trophies, you have your marks. Uh, Igve. They generously gave you the Red Cross. They gave me the Red Cross. <laughs> Since okay. you were the healer. Uh, but yes, you will be walking into Ba uh, amidst a very rambunctious celebration carrying meat sacks uh, for all to uh, behold and to share. Uh, you guys have grown up in this area, so you know this is just a big festival. Uh, there is no ownership. It's a, a socialist monarchy. <laughs> uh, and we will pick that up in two weeks. Folks, thanks for joining us. We I'm appreciate you. Finally be popular. It's gonna be popular. <laughs> I know you are. You are. <laughs> I'm waiting for your second character. <laughs> uh, folks, uh, thanks for watching. We appreciate it, whether you watched it live or uh on uh, MemberX. We appreciate that. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about uh, D&D with us, join our Discord. We have a RPG swag store, uh, Pirate Dog Dice. Uh, did a decent job on these guys for being first level. And of course, Odd Fish Games. This game uh, didn't stink, but I still have adventure sense, and everybody on the crew is getting them as soon as I get off my ass and mail them. Uh, also, check yeah. out their uh, yeah. Cooking with yeah. Ice uh, and their Shine system. Uh, most importantly, if you want to be on the talk show or on a one shot next Saturday, uh, M Hobo Inc. Twitter, Gmail, hit us up. We will get you on there. I'd like to thank the cast. They did a marvelous job, and I look forward to working with them uh, for at least a few more weeks until that. <laughs> so, uh, let's give the world a great big wave and ditty game kiss, and let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. Bye, bye bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>